Okay, so I know a lot of you have not uh, set up your DocuSign yet, so that's what this video is going to be for. It's going to be a quick tutorial on just getting the link established between your Keller Williams command and your DocuSign account. So let's get right into it. Um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we are operating in an incognito window. So how we do that is we click on the three dots over here in our um, Google Chrome browser. It's important that we always operate in Google Chrome. Um, all of our Keller Williams technology is based on Google servers and, and the Google platform, so that's why everything works best in Google Chrome. Um, you will have issues in other browsers. So we're going to click the three dots here, and then we are going to go to the third option down, New Incognito Window. And that's going to open up our incognito window, and we're going to go to Agent dot kw dot com and we are going to sign in to our Keller Williams command and John and Dean graciously provided me her info so that we could use her as a guinea pig to get set up here so let me find that information and put in the password and we should be good okay then we're gonna open up into our command dashboard uh, go ahead and accept cookies here just to get that out of your way and we are going to click on the drop down here next to your name and go to settings once we're in settings, we are going to look for the DocuSign application. It's under digital signature and transactions. You'll see that you have a status of not connected and we want to connect that account. So we're going to click connect account and make sure this information is correct. We're going to use this information. So we're going to hit the registration email okay so that should have provided an authorization email that then went to the email address that's showing here so we are going to go to our email and when I bring up the email I will show that email right here DocuSign you've been invited to join DocuSign rooms we're gonna click on that and we are going to accept the invite then when we accept the invite we're gonna pay attention to this email right here because this is the email that will be addressed in your DocuSign account um, and it's really not easy to change so make sure that when you requested it in our first steps that you use the right email address that you want to use alright so then we're gonna create a password Okay, so once we've provided the three security questions for our DocuSign account, then we click the activate button at the bottom, the yellow activate button, and we get to this screen. So then we're gonna say accept agreement. And we'll wait for it to load. And we are in our new DocuSign account. So then what we're gonna see, what's new, messages replaces comments, um, we you can use this start walkthrough um, if you would like that's entirely up to you I'm not going to use it so I'm going to X out of that congratulations authorize I'm going to click authorize and now we can see that this is in progress current status in progress and authorize Okay, we're going to put in the password that we created when we created our new account. And we are going to accept. And now we can see that our DocuSign is connected. The current status is connected and we are good to go. So now 
when we go to opportunities, and opportunities is where all of our transactions are going to live. Um, so when we go to opportunities, then we can go to create opportunity and we'll call it a listing opportunity. All right, so then we're going to add the client name. And then we don't need a co-seller. I just want to get into it to show you. So we're going to create the opportunity. All right, and now when we go to documents, we're going to see over here, start a transaction. When we click on start a transaction, that is going to take us over to our Keller Williams branded DocuSign account. So now I am in a DocuSign room that has the same name as the opportunity I created in command. So when we look at rooms, we're going to think of rooms uh, like loops in dot loop. For those of you that use dot loop, a room here is the same as a loop in dot loop. Uh, so that's it. That's how you get connected. And then, of course, we'll have more training videos for actually using DocuSign uh, as we move forward. So good luck, have fun, and explore the technology.